everyone welcome to zine rocks we are in a new topic of algebra that is linear equations in two variables an equation in two variables where the degree of the variables is 1 is called as a linear equation in two variables so let's begin the standard form of a linear equation in two variables is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 where a b c are real numbers and x and y are variables one more condition is that a and b must not be equal to 0 if a or b is equal to 0 then this equation may not be a linear equation in two variables maybe it becomes a linear equation in one variable for example if a is equal to 0 so you will get 0x plus by plus c is equal to 0 so this is 0 that means it will be a linear equation but it will be a linear equation in only one variable because y is the variable left the power of the variables must be 1 in this question we are supposed to identify Which of the following are linear equation in two variables? Question number one is m and n are two variables. The power is one. That means the first question is linear equation in two variable. Question number two. There are two variables x and y, but the power of this variable is two. that means this is not a linear equation in two variable question number 3 there are two variables x and y and the power is also 1 that means this is a linear equation in two variable next is x and y there are two variables and the power is also 1 but our next condition is a b must not be equal to 0 here a is equal to 0 that means this is not a linear equation question number 5 x and y are on the denominator that means if i take x in the numerator the power of this question that is x will become minus 1 here also the power will become minus 1 that means the power is not equal to 1 that means this is not a linear equation here next question the variables are x and y x and y but here x and y both are given together that means the power of x is 1 and y is 1 the total will be 2 that means this is not a linear equation in two variables this is practice set 1.1 question number 2 sub question 1 We are asked to solve the simultaneous equations. Now, to solve a simultaneous equation, you need to select a variable. That means there are two variables, a and b. Out of this a and b, you have to select one variable, either a or b. To select a variable, you have to see that the coefficients are same. For example, in this question, if I select a. here the coefficient is 3 coefficient is 1 the coefficient is not same but if i select b the coefficient is 5 the coefficient is 5 yes i can select b so if i select b then check the signs the signs are same if the signs are same you have to subtract so i will write subtracting equation number 2 from equation number 1 when you do subtracting then the sign of the second equation will change this is plus this will become minus this is plus this will become minus this is plus this will become minus so 3 minus 1 is 2a 5 minus 5 gets cancelled yaad rakhna jo variable ko tum select karte ho tum isliye select kar rahe ho kyunki wo cancel ho jayega to wo cancel ho jata hai Equal to 26 minus 22 is 4. Therefore, a is equal to 4 divided by 2. A is equal to 2. So I have got the value of a, but this is not the final answer because here you are supposed to find the two variables. So I will write putting 
the value of a in equation number one. Equation one may be valued as sector or two may be as sector. You will get the same answer. So one equation is three a plus five b is equal to twenty six. So three, what is the value of a is two plus five b is equal to twenty six. Three two is six plus five b is equal to twenty six. Therefore, five b is equal to twenty six minus six. Five b is equal to twenty. B is equal to twenty upon five. B is equal to four. That means you have got the value of A. You have got the value of B. That means you have got the solution set. The solution set will be two comma four. This is question number two. My first step is select a variable. I can select x. I can select y. Let us check the coefficients. Here the coefficient is one. Here the coefficient is three. X cannot be selected. Here the coefficient is seven. Here the coefficient is minus two. Y also cannot be selected. If they cannot be selected, then you have to make the coefficient same. Then you can select the variables. For example, if I multiply this one by three, three and three will become same. Is it clear? So this is quite comfortable. Making x same or selecting variable x. So I will multiply equation number one by three. So if I multiply equation number one by three, it will become three into x will be three x. Three seven za is twenty one y. Three ten za is thirty. You have to multiply the entire equation by three. Not only the first term. We have to multiply every term by three. So this equation number one gets converted into equation number three. I will write equation number two below it. You is you will get three x minus two y is equal to seven. This is equation number two. Now, can I select x? Yes, I can select x. Why? Because the coefficients are same. Now check the sign. Sign is plus plus. Sign is same. What to do? Subtracting equation number two from three minus plus minus. Signs will change. Three x three x gets cancelled. Twenty one plus two will become twenty three y. Third time minus seven will become twenty three. Therefore, y is equal to twenty-three upon twenty-three. Y is equal to one. I have got the value of y, but this is not the final answer because I am supposed to find the value of x also. I will write putting y is equal to one in equation number one. Equation number one is one x plus seven y. Is equal to ten. That is x plus seven into one is equal to ten. X is equal to ten minus seven. X is equal to three. I have got the value of x. Solution set is three comma one. This is question number three. My first step is selecting a variable. So you can select either x. You can select either y. But here, looking at the question, you see that. The coefficient of x is same, so I will select x. I will not select y because here the coefficients are not same. So I am selecting x. After selection, what is the step? Check the sign. Sign is plus. If sign is same, then you have to do subtracting equation number two from equation number one. Minus minus minus. So whichever Variable you are selecting will get cancelled. So minus three minus one is minus four y. Nine minus thirteen is minus four. Therefore y is equal to minus four upon minus four. Y is equal to one. So I have got the value of y. So putting y is equal to one in equation number whichever is easy. Equation number two is easy. Two x. Plus one y y is one is equal to thirteen. Two x plus one is equal to thirteen. 
therefore 2x is equal to 13 minus 1 2x is equal to 12 x is equal to 12 upon 2 that is 6 so your solution set is 6 comma 1 this is question number 4 my first step is selecting a variable you can select m you can select n whichever is comfortable for you I am selecting m here because this is phi if I multiply 1 by phi it will become phi so I will write multiplying equation number 2 by phi phi m minus phi 6 is 30 n phi 7 is 35 this is equation number 3 equation number 2 becomes equation number 3 I am taking equation number 1 below it 5m minus 3n is equal to 19 this is equation number 1 now I have selected m next step is see the signs sign is same plus plus so you will write subtracting equation number 1 from 3 minus plus minus 5 5 gets cancelled third type plus 3 is minus 27n is equal to minus 35 minus 19 will be added it will become minus 54 therefore n is equal to minus 54 upon minus 27 n is equal to 2 27 1s are 2s are n is equal to 2 is not the final answer you will write putting n is equal to 2 in equation number 1 equation number 1 is 5m minus 3 n is 2 is 19 5m minus 6 is equal to 19 5m is equal to 25 m is equal to 25 upon 5 m is equal to 2 so I have got m I have got n I will write the solution set as 2 comma 2 sorry this is 5 comma 2 this is question number 5 my first step is selecting a variable you have to select either x either y here the numbers the coefficients are not same so i can select either x i can select either y i prefer x because if i multiply this by 5 this will become the same i will write multiplying equation number 2 by 5 so I will get 5x plus 5 5 is 25y, 5 4 is 20, this will become equation number 3. I will write equation number 1 below it, 2y is equal to minus 3, this is equation number 1. Check the signs, next step is signs, sign is same, so I will write subtracting equation number 1 from equation number 3, minus minus and this will become plus. So 5, 5 will get cancelled. 25 minus 2 is 23y is equal to 23. Therefore y is equal to 23 upon 23. y is equal to 1. I have got y as 1. I will write putting y is equal to 1 in equation number 1. Equation number 1 is 5x plus 2. y value is 1 is equal to minus 3. 5x plus 2 is equal to minus 3. 5x is equal to minus 5. Minus 2 it goes there to become minus. So x is equal to minus 5 upon 5. x is equal to minus 1. Your solution set is 1. Sorry, minus 1 comma 1. Because x will write first then y.